Marcia, and I don't think you could quite believe the scoreline at the end of the game at the Majeski Stadium last weekend, having thought that Dimitar Berbatov had scored the winner and in the 90th minute, another equaliser. Of course, if you're realistic, it can happen in football, but uh, we really thought that Berbatov scored the winner. Before that, we scored uh, the winner, in our opinion, then they scored, then we scored again. And then uh, we had the set plays again. We were giving away free kicks for fun almost, you know, uh, three or four. And yeah, that is not what you should do. But I can't tell my players that they are not experienced, you know. They are not under 18 players or under 16 players. They are professionals, they are experienced professionals. So, of course, they don't do it with a purpose, you know. You have to be at the end of these, these balls. It was not an easy one. But you saw the eagerness and ambition with that team, and there were two players. If you saw Corks coming in front of goal and then try to have the winner, and our players were probably not as 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 resolute to 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 be at the end of it. And you have to attack the ball. You have to either the keeper or your defender it doesn't matter. You have to win these battles. And if you do that, there's no problem. But we didn't, and we didn't do that against Southampton. You know, this last ball, Fonte, I can't remember Fonte scored a lot of goals and he scored two against us. On the other hand, last year it was one of our strengths. You know, we never lost the lead. We, we never lost games after a lead, taking the lead. We never lost games. Uh, we were one of the better teams in, in England with that. Every time when we scored, we won the game. This was probably not a defeat, but it was. Did it feel like a defeat? No, because if you saw the first half, they scored and uh, we played better than them. Uh, we had more touches in the first half than they, they had in 90 minutes, but that is not good enough for me because I always want to play with a purpose, you know. Of course, I want to dominate possession, but only to play forward and to create chances instead of keeping the ball. Uh, you could do that maybe in the last four or five minutes, you know, if you're leading and try to, as a tactic, you could keep the ball, but not in the first half. So I thought the first half, we were the better team, but they scored. It was an unbelievable scream at top corner. But I still felt that uh, we should have created more. But uh, can you remember the two opportunities for Odo Jäger? He could have scored two headers. And if he would have done that, everything would have been fine, you know. But I still had the feeling at half time and after the game that we didn't play with a purpose. The second half was much, much better. But I couldn't say that it felt like a defeat. Uh, it was one point away from home, should have been three. And we should have been in the top five. That that uh, that is what uh, I thought we should have done, and we didn't. And we did the same against Southampton. So uh, what do you do uh, on the training pitch to try and rectify that? Is it is it a case of practicing set plays? Is it a case of consistently talking to the defenders? Because as you say, it's twice in two games. You have to try to uh, change your mentality. Mm. And uh, other people will say, yeah, but we did well in the past. But of course, we had. Players like Dixon and players like Dempsey and and even Sitwell, you know, if you know like they are good, you know, if you if you pick them out to mark people and uh, yeah, yeah. every team will have five or six players who are good in the air. And we had that. And now we've got that, but it's different personnel and we still have to educate each other uh, that you have to be strong. Because it's about size as well, you know, you need big players. And if you're not a big player, you have to be clever, you know. And uh, of course, there are teams who are good at that, and we were good at that in the past, and we have to be good at it in the future. So, of course, we did it in the training today, yesterday, but if they got uh, their strengths, like Everton, for example, they're very good at set plays, you have to be tough, you have to attack the ball, and with more than one player, believe me. And if we do that, there's no problem, but I feel that last week against um, and, and the week before against Southampton and Reading, you know, it was it was not easy. But I expect my players to be tough enough with the goalkeeper, who is probably then my seventh defender, because you've got five or six good headers of the ball, and you've got your goalkeeper. But I want to do everything, you know. And I'm watching them, and uh, you know, you almost get a heart attack, you know, because you know we did well. We scored three goals away from home, and you still did, uh, don't win, and that is that was an awful feeling. Two of the goal scorers actually had to come off injured, Dimitar Bobatov, who I know you were concerned about a rib, and Chris Baird, who slid into the hoardings and hurt his ankle slightly. Are they fit and well now? Have they been training with you this week? Chris Baird uh, was fine. Came back on uh, Tuesday. Uh, Berber was a bit more complicated, but uh, he felt it and he still feels it. But he wants he wants to play, you know, he wants to do well for us, and that is uh, 
great to see because the doctor said maybe he can play on for 15 or 20 minutes and then he stayed on for the whole game so that was great to see the mentality is good and Brian Ruiz, so you must have been delighted a with his contribution with the goal and also the way that he played with Dimitar in the second half yeah of course if uh, Odier is not playing you you lack a bit of, of pace and uh, but we certainly had a quality second half to combine together to set up uh, and to create and every uh, but I think our fans you know and there were a lot of fans I was unbelievable to see you know all these fans behind the goal and it's getting more and more and they saw Brian Ruiz and then they saw that Brian Ruiz changed the, the whole game you know not another player only him and of course Berbatov did well and the team tried to get a result and hopefully every everyone is convinced about uh, Brian Ruiz now because he's, he's a marvellous player so you had Nadan Petric on the bench on Saturday and you have 24 squad members who are fit and ready to play. Does that give you a headache for tomorrow's match against Everton? Not a headache, but a problem. And you have to make decisions against players. And uh, that is not easy, but uh, especially when they're fantastic players. Lana Petric started off at Fulham. His first game, scored two goals, was one, probably arguably our best player. And then he got injured and I had to do something with Berbatov took Berbatov for Man United and uh, he almost was the victim. But Marlon Petric uh, will be favourite with the crowd because he's, he's so gifted and he, I told him, you will have your chances. So the only thing you can do is uh, keep your head up, be confident and do the business if, if, if you have to play for Fulham. And tomorrow will be a difficult game. Everton, although they're on the back of three draws, are a very strong team, even away from home. So you're expecting a tough game tomorrow. If you see them all their games, even away from home, you know, Swansea, they, they were the only team who were pressurising Swansea, they're physically strong. They yeah, they play football as well, because you can't say that they only play uh, uh, an English style. They can vary. If you see Baines on the left, uh, he's probably arguably the best fullback uh, at the moment. Uh, with Fellaini, of course, if you got the size of him and the strength, you will use that, and they're using that uh, big time. But... Uh, yeah, we have to come up with our own questions and they have to come up with answers because we've got some good players, you know. So hopefully we uh, will be on the front foot and uh, dominate them and uh, score goals early. And of course you have to do everything to grind out a result against them because if you saw them against Liverpool, I felt that they were probably the stronger team. You've got some tough games coming up, but this is, I think, double the points tally from this time last season. So you must be pleased with the way that you've started off. Especially if you saw the problems we had in the transfer window and then we lost some players and then we started again. We had to start again building a new team, so I'm very, I'm very pleased. Uh, but don't forget that we had two draws against Aston Villa and Blackburn Rovers last year and then we, we should have beaten them. Mm. So uh, it's, uh, it's good you know, to have 14 points and hopefully we will win the three points against Everton and then we will be in front of our schedule. You know? We wish you luck tomorrow. Okay, thank you.